Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Not so good morning, it's just morning. Um, last night we parked up in the lay-by. If you've seen last week's video, or the whole series in all fairness, uh, I'm out with a, a group of photographers. We're vanning. Uh, we had six, we're down to five. One had to disappear yesterday and head back home because it's his wife anniversary, Christopher. Uh, happy anniversary. We've been out all week, we've been up to Scotland and um, yeah, we've been having a bit of a bit of a riot to be honest. The weather's been crap, the rain has been going all night, but we're in a location where I've wanted to come for several years. So I said to the guys, even if it's raining, we're still going up. So it is raining, it is dark and we are still going up. We don't know where we're going, we have an idea. Um, I've got to find a bridge apparently and it's just across the bridge, the viewpoint. So that's where we are. We're in the middle of Glencoe as well, if I haven't already mentioned it. Um, we're right in the middle of Glencoe. We're by the Devil's Staircase and the Photographer House, uh, or cottage. So you've got an idea where we are if you know Scotland. Um, so that's the plan for this morning. So stick with it, join us on this little uh, journey. It'll be a whole day one again. This is gonna be a massively long video. Um, we're leaving here afterwards. We'll have a few um, 15 minute breaks and stops for photographs and then we're heading down to Queen's Ferry to finish off the whole of the trip at the fourth bridges and get some night shots of the bridges I think so that's the plan come with us and let's see what we can do so at the moment we're kind of up shit creek without a paddle <laughs> excuse my French we've walked all the way up over the bridge and up and it started to flatten off which is no good so we've come back down across the bridge we walked over to the right that was no good no elevation so we're now trying to find our way across the other river on the other side of the trees to go up the high, up the steeper mountain. We just need to find a way across the trees or across the river because it's quite a raging river. So at the moment we are in no, nowhere near where we need to be. Um, but we're wrecking, we're scouting, we're, we're, we're trying our best to find this location. But we do need to get across this river. These guys are going to get a slap in a minute. <laughs> They're <laughs> contemplating walking across the river. But it's not just a bloody river, it's a raging torrent at the moment. We've, all that We've got one cripple here that's got bad knees and one lanky twat. That's why I don't want to walk back and <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that ever horribly as well. We are taking the mick out of each other. And I'm ever so sorry if you're offended, I don't mean that. We're getting um, the image. But yeah, we, we, we are desperate to find the image. We've, we've come to the decision that we need to be up on that bank up there. So you can see over the trees, which are down there, you can see over these trees, and you can see down the snaking road that way, and you can see down the snaking road that way. So we do need to be on that side of the trees now. I did have someone say to me, you can go up the other side of the trees, but it's no path, it's a bit of a scramble. But I've had several people tell me you go up and across the bridge this side. So I don't know how and who and where and when, to be honest. Um, we can't get across this river, not, I don't feel safe going across it unless I can find someone that's got some stepping stones and really, even if you've got to take our boots off, but at the moment it's a raging torrent down there. Um, I'm sweating and hot. I've had a clean t-shirt this morning and it's dripping. I wasn't expecting a big walk. But we're making the path up as we go along, so we're having an adventure, we're having fun-ish. <laughs> but it's just not where we need to be. Uh, Ginger's gone right up the top, he's gone up the river looking to see if he can find a way across. Uh, a little lad like him, he'll probably swim it knowing him. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll check back in once I've got an idea, but it's looking pretty atmospheric. You're taking a risk. The video's out, but you're taking a risk. There's some big steps there in front. Look how deep that is on your stick. That's a big step. If you're going to do it, you've got to do it over that one there. If you're going to go, you've got to go across there. But The only other thing is we get some rocks and build a dam. Or we just walk down and go back up the other side in safety. <laughs> Come on, let's not take a risk on the last day and get hurt. I'm, I'm not kind of prepared to take too much of a risk. Even I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Slight leakage on his boots. Yeah, Stainish just had a look um, and he was pushing his luck a little bit. I'm fogging up, so I'm going to have to watch where I'm putting my feet because I'm in a quag. I'll take my foot on that one and that one. Right, I'm across. Um, yeah, we're going to go back down, cross the trees at the bottom and come back up. I don't fancy Mrs. C beating the crap out of me 
when I'm covered in mud, water, got a head, head injury, broken limbs, another broken finger, and then her beating me up. It wouldn't be fair. So we're gonna head back down, come back up the trees the other side. Ginger's already across the river. He made, a, he went up about two, 300 yards and went up across the river that way. Um, right, I've got to stop recording, so I've got to make my way across these stones, which are down here. So I've got to make my way across this. So I'm gonna put you away, I'll speak to you in a bit. We're down on the road. Uh, we're down on the road, the other side of the woods, and we need to go back up. Ah, is that a gate up in front, Dan? Metal one. Uh, we're looking for a gate, I haven't got my glasses on, so I'm on short range at the moment. Um, yeah, we're back on the road because we couldn't get across the river. Stainy tried again at the bottom of, by the top of the woods and it wasn't happening. Ginge is on the other side up the hill somewhere because he did get across the river. So we're now trying to get through the gate and follow the path up. I can see a track going up. I kind of wish we'd have come this way earlier because it looks a lot safer. <laughs> you never know. This might be the right place. And if it is, next time I'm here, I'll have it. I'm definitely having it. I'm so pleased my mic's still working. It's on the inside of my shirt and I'm sweating that much. I think I've got waterlogged it. We are, we are ascending, ascending, ascending. We're going up, we're going up. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna rest you on my, I've lost you. I don't even know if I'm gonna be bothered to talk to you. <laughs> Where are you? Hi, yeah, we are, we're going up. I'm absolutely knackered, I'm sweating. I'm absolutely ringing. Daz, Ginge, and I'm gonna give it to him. I will give it to him, I'm gonna plug him. He's at the top of this hill. He, I wouldn't say he took a shortcut, he went up a different route to us, but he's at the top. He's waving, he was waving, flashing his light to so take me out to him. If he gets this shot, he owns it, I tell you. We are, we're on our way. Um, well, I'm losing the plot a little bit. My mind's not working, my brain's not working properly. Uh, my legs and my calves and everything are really thumping after this week. But we are going to get a shot. Whether we go across and just do the best we can from across, or whether we go up, I don't know. But the next time I talk to you, we'll be in location, and I'm going to be sitting down. I can guarantee that. But that's the view. This is what we come for. This is what it's all about. See the snaking road? You've got the snaking road, the cottage. You've got uh, Buckle Mountain. And you've got three sisters going off down there in the distance and this lovely little bit of woodland this is what we've got to do we've got to get over this woodland to get the road in here and we've got to get high enough to be the other side to see down the valley there so once we've done that we're good and if it clags in i'm just going to jump off the top <laughs> happy chappy look look at this Look at this, absolutely ringing. It's piddling it down. Now, I'm gonna show you where Ginge is. Ginge, you see that round hump up there? Ginge is just, he's just there. Now, once I've taken a picture of him here, I might climb up there. But at the moment, I'm more than happy with this view. I've got Big D and Stainy with me. I'm on a ledge, literally the plummet is the bottom, so I'm on a ledge, but we've got this view. Look at this bloody view, all the way down the valley. Look at that for a view. So, 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 so. It is claggy, it's misty, it's rough, it's nasty, but by God, it's an atmospheric image. And I am gonna get a panoramic shot of this. I'm gonna do it now while it's like it is in case it gets too claggy. I've got my little brolly. Even if we've got to do assistance, I'll take one and then Darren takes one or whatever we do, we're, we're gonna get this shot shot. Bit of old contrast slider and dehaze, it'll make this real punch. It's gonna look fantastic. And with all the water we've had, the rivers are flowing, so the rivers are looking big and shiny. I'm not worrying about a polarizer. I wanna see that contrast between the light and the dark areas. We've got colors in the trees down here as well. So this is it, this is the shot. Well happy we got to here. If I can get up to where Ginge is, I think I'm gonna, once I've been here for 10, 15 minutes, I will. I'll go up there for a look. But I'm happy with this. This is gonna make me a, a happy boy. Oh man, 
absolutely knackered on a first day this would be all right but on the end of a week when we've had a little sleep you know sort of broken sleep legs are tired we've been all over the place and i've had no breakfast this is worth this is worth the effort i'm gonna get the shots up Well, we've come up. We've come up to the. We've come up to Ginge. We we're letting Ginge have the better of it. I had to have a go. <laughs> so I've come up. But as I've come up, the rain started and it's clagged in. It really is quite uh, claggy at the moment. So there's not a lot going on. Um, I'm going to hang around for five because it's clearing again a bit on the left. The buccal's showing its head a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to hang around here for five minutes just to see if the clag on the right hand side clears up. But actually, it's quite a nice shot. Looking at it, looking at it in the big picture. Is that a stainy? You've come up a bit too far. You need to come down here. <laughs> Stainy's up the top there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. He's uh, he's gone up a bit too far. Let's come around this way. Walk that way. Let's spin you around. Spin you around. Spin you around. Spin you around. He's gone up even higher than us. He's, he's, he's up there somewhere. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I was just about to say it looks quite nice because it's sort of, you've got the road leading in, it sort of vanishes off into, into nothing, into the distance. So if I can just ease this rain off a bit, I'll get the camera out. I'm going to take one more panoramic and then I'm going back down. That's all I've done. F11, the first couple. I shot about four or five because I want to pick the best and you never know whether one's got a rain spot on it or something or I've missed something, but... I've took about four or five from down there. I'm going to take one or two from here just to make sure one or the other one's going to work. F14, so maximum depth of field. And uh, I'm going to do one with the polarizer on, just one, just to see if it makes any difference with, the, uh, with what's going on. And it's just clearing again over there. That's crazy. Have a look at this. Look at this. This is the view. This is the view from up here. Are you ready? Let's spin you around. Can't get the camera to turn. There we go. So we've got down here on our left hand side we've got the road the a82 i think it is that comes from the green willy shop i'm coming up from Loch lomond you come up this direction and you come up the road here you then come round this way we've got a road that leads out there that goes up the lakative this is the buccal mountain as we come round it's not showing too much at the moment but it is there let's just lift you off a bit so there you've got the Buchal Mountain, this nice pointy one, it's the epic one in the middle of the Glencoe range. And then the road, as you see down the bottom here, carries on snaking along, snaking along, comes right the way along in front of us, keeps going past into the clag. So you the right, I can see the A82 carries on along, you've got the river that flows through there. It's going this direction down towards the Three, three Sisters. 
down there in the bottom like i said you've got the little white cottage and just over here by the edge of the trees just on the edge of the road somewhere about there you can just see the vans just there if i zoom in for you if i zoom in and bring you across just a little bit you can just see the vans down there behind the tree so we're quite a long way up a long long way up from uh, from where we was so uh, we have come up quite a good distance and it's a fun it's fun we are all having fun we're all having fun now the four of us are together i'm glad staney come up now the four of us together i'm going to get a, uh, a selfie of us all up here as well right pano let's get this shot done as it's just easing off a little bit and i'll speak to you either on the way down or at the bottom thanks for staying with us like i said it's gonna be a long day but i've got a smile on my face are down the bottom looks like we've one more obstacle to go and uh, one I need to think about <laughs> there is some broken wood in front of me I'm across that and I'm not walking on the tin <laughs> we're across we're across let's just go across this stream back on the edge and we are we're down we're down we've crossed all the streams we've crossed any waters we've come down the steep bits we've come down the boggy bits we've just got to get through the gate now and we're on the road Denise has got me a nice black pudding toasty going and the kettle's on for four so that's it that's this bit of a fun journey Staney looks absolutely goosed he really does look tired <laughs> i'm going to have to stop taking the mick out of him today because he looks really tired <laughs> even even big deer is, is is feeling it ginge i'm not even talking about ginge because he just seems to run off when he feels like it and leaves us behind but uh yeah no that was a good fun morning definitely got a few steps in i'm sure the heart rate went over at least 50 beats per minute at some point so yeah I will speak to you a little bit later on. See you later. Or in your case, a few seconds. So we're on our way back. This is it. We're just been up to Glencoe Ski Resort. Uh, all gathered together now. All the vans are in tow. We're just heading back down to the main road. Once we get on the main road, we're going to turn right and start heading back down country. It's not the end of the trip. Uh, it's not over yet. We may have a couple of pit stops. There is little patches of light coming through the sky. And with that and atmosphere and rain comes rainbows. So you never know if we spot something, we will slap on the anchors, pull over and get a quick shot. Um, I'm just watching the road, making sure we can get out. Yeah, so we're heading down to Queens Ferry now because I want to end it. My, my end in the journey is at Queen's Ferry, we've got the bridges, we can get a nice evening shot, we can have a few hours in the evening, have some, you know, agis and chips or something like that, have a sit down, all chat together, talk about the week and um, yeah, finish it off there. So yeah, if you see a couple of images on the way down the road, and so be it, if we do, if we don't, then we'll see you at Queen's Ferry. And yeah, thanks so much for sticking with it. It's been a, it's been a good journey, it's been really good. Uh, I've enjoyed being out with the lads, 
the wife's enjoyed it I think she's cooked for everyone this morning I think Cor and his wife's enjoyed it even though you know not Cor and his wife Nigel and his wife Cor um, so yeah it's been good it's been a good week it's been all right Quick stop at the Green Welly shop. Some stock up on a bit of fudge. That's really nice. That is nice. That's really nice. Mm. Bit of vanilla, 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 vanilla fudge. That I bought the wife and she shared it with me. Still going that direction, heading that way, but we had to stop for a bit of button up. Button up, butterscotch. No, what vanilla. Or oh, whatever, fudge. fudge. Yummy. See you in a bit. We are now approaching uh, Queensbury, Queensbury North, and we've just pulled into a layby just to quickly get a quick snap of the uh, three bridges together. And they look pretty amazing together. I still think it looks better with just the two bridges, um, but inevitably they had to build that extra bridge. Um, but yeah, well, I'm taking the guys down to a extremely close park up. In fact, it's that close, it's underneath the bridge. So I'm sure, in these conditions, and I'm positive, I'm definitely having the drone up for five minutes. I'm sure the other guys will have their drone up for a little while. And uh, we'll get a couple of snaps of the fourth bridge, uh, hopefully a couple of them. And then we'll head over to the other side for our tea and uh, maybe watch the sunset and get a few sunset photographs of all three bridges. So that's my plan. Let's see if we can pull it off. So you may have already seen a few photographs, or uh, well not photographs, but aerial drone. I, I had the drone up, I've had it here before, but I'm actually standing right underneath the fourth rail bridge now. And this is indefinitely one of my top threes of amazing things and uh, absolutely love this bridge. I'm just gonna take the guys down to the jetty just so they can get a bit of a sideways view of it um, and looking at the side, because it's lit up with all the sunshine at the moment, so it looks pretty good. So it'd probably be quite a nice shot with a blue sky behind it and the red uh, iron paintwork. It looks like they're painting it again as well. If you can see here, it's all nice and pretty and pretty clean and nice and vibrant red in between and the two white bits either side. It's what they do. They basically start there. They go all the way over the top there. I've lost the bridge there. It is all the way over there and then work their way right the way along down the far side takes quite a while to do <laughs> it takes a long time to to paint so uh, yeah right just seeing if everyone's got their camera it's nice to be out in the sunshine at last it's a bit chilly but I'm gonna get a couple of quick shot of it on the other side 
um, and then we're going to go or out on the jetty sorry on the pontoon and then we're going to go over the far side that you can see from there right over in that far distance and that's where we're going to park up for the night all going well so next shot is the bridge i've come down onto the beach we haven't made it to the breakwater so i'm not even sure we're going to make it to the breakwater we've come down onto the beach because we've got this uh, old wooden pontoon that's uh, rusted away and uh, it makes a bit of an interesting foreground to put the bridge behind rather than just having water uh, so it's just a case of filling the foreground really finding something and then oh yes there's an actual train wheel in the beach look at this how fantastic is this an old train wheel and we've got rope coming off we've got some more train wheels there these were obviously used back in the day there's a great big anchor down here as well this is absolutely a feast and the lights on them as well so let's get something set up for these and uh, get a couple of shots quite excited now quite excited never seen these because it's always normally under the water so yeah very very cool bringing the guys underneath for a bit of a nose so come and get close to it because these round circular stanchion things are about six foot maybe even eight foot definitely six foot in diameter they're so wide yeah i reckon maybe even eight foot in diameter they're so massive but until you actually get underneath it and realize how big they are it's hard to see but it is a fantastic fantastic structure and i do admire the guys and the work that goes into this and what you can do with it and i think there's a viewing tower on the top there now so I might have to get down and see if I can find out if I can get a, a proper view in from the top at some point. But it is magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Well, this is probably about the end of the video. Um, I'm going to take a couple of pictures of the bridges as the sun goes down. I'll play them at the end for you. Um, I'm not going to get my drone up anymore because, well, two reasons. The batteries are flat and there's an awful lot of policemen around um, because it's COP26. COP21. 20, yeah. 21, COP21 21, uh, going on not very far away. So, uh, yeah, we don't want to be messing around with that, do we? Um, there's going to be a few images here, probably in the morning. I may do a little bit of an introduction vlog in the morning. Uh, to If I have, then you've already seen it. So let's put it that way. So if I do, you've already seen it because it'll come out first. Um, but yeah, we've had a good week. It's really been good. Thanks to the guys, um, all of them. Darren, Darren Waite, Ginger Captures, Darren Morehouse, uh, Steve Stan Staines, Martin Heilgerich, um I don't know what his surname is. Um, Christopher, as well, Christopher Stewart, Nigel, and uh, Cor Thomas. Um, yeah, it's been a really good week. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Thompson, Thomas. Yeah, Nigel Thomas. Oh, stop it. She's messing me around now. Um, so, yeah, thanks to them, guys. It's been a really good trip. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're more than happy to have you along. Um, anything to say?
apart from you want to go home. <laughs> well, it's been a really good week. That's been a good to week. To be honest, the, <laughs> the only downside is how wet we've got all week, and on the very last night we've pulled up here and the sun's been out all week. Yeah, it's, it's been an absolutely gorgeous day on the way back, and we've been wet all week it's been horrible weather wise yeah. but interesting I'm, I'm i'm looking forward to getting onto my photographs and seeing if i can make something interesting out of it these guys are still there they've got their tripods out they're still out playing so you know more than happy we've done this a couple of times now so i think i'm just going to chill out now uh, i might take a couple of phone shots but i am chilling out um, we just need to wait for a few of these cars to clear up so we can get some parking in i've parked very very close to darren's vehicle and nigel's next to him so we're all in the car park um, we're going to go and get some haggis and chips in a bit, um, but I think I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with this episode. It's been a, I know it's been a long one, massive videos, long episode. Um, tried to cram it all in. I hope you've watched the other guys. If you haven't, check their descriptions out below. And um, yeah, no, more than more than happy. It's been really, really good. So yeah, till next time. Don't forget like crusher. and subscribe. We've got a gate crasher, cause here. Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it. You love it. You've had a good time. It. Amazing time. Amazing. Amazing. It's an amazing time. Really <laughs> lovely. <laughs> um, they've travelled more than everyone else because they've come from South Wales. So yeah, it's been a it's been a long trip. But we had a stopover with you. You did have a stopover with us, and they're going to have a stopover with us on the way back as well. So <laughs> that's all good. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Comment about all the videos. Until next time. Ciao for now. See you soon. God knows where, don't know where, but don't know when, don't know oh. what I'm going to be doing. But we will be somewhere <laughs> back down south. Say bye, wife. Bye, wife. <laughs> Say bye, Cor. Bye. <laughs> Ciao.